I've been welding for 46 years and I have never picked up a TIG machine, but I'm going to today. And besides that, I've got my good friend and pro quality fabricator welder, Mike Smith, coming down to help me. What an advantage. I mean, a lot of the things I've learned in my life, I've learned simply by starting in. But today I have the quantum leap available to me of having a highly skilled mentor standing right beside me holding my hand. I've waited a long time for this moment. I can't wait to get my hands on this. So as I work my way through this and Nate has the camera rolling, I'm gonna show you my mistakes while the learning curve is vertical and I'm sure that there's gonna be some real ugliness that shows up here. As it gets better, I'll try to show you the improvement. If you have some welding under your belt, maybe it's time to step into TIG. I mean, you don't have to have a top end system like Fronia sent me to do this. The little green buzz box welder that we, that we uh, reviewed, what, several months ago, that will TIG weld with a torch and with a scratch start and you can get by with less than I have been enabled with. In general, think carefully about whether or not you ought to add welding to wake what makes you a useful human. Because man, I'll tell you what guys, if you can, if you can weld, if you can join two pieces of metal together with metal, it sets you apart, right? And not just in terms of what you can do from other people, for other people, but in terms of sort of the way that you regard your capability and your confidence in trying other things. So I am anxious to get my hands on this little guy and actually get some accurate instruction from somebody who is qualified to give me some accurate instruction. Is this a counterbalance or something? Why do they extend that? Longer tungsten. Well, I know a lot of people that choke way high up on it depending on what they're doing. Um, most of the time I'm right here. Obviously there's a body back here. Heat's deflecting off and going up. Yeah, right yeah. Where you're going and you're and bracing that, your, your yep. wrist right down against the work. Yep. These hand controls. The stainless, as you know, oxidizes. It might be sixteenths. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens when you lose. Let's hook the foot pedal up. I might as well learn to rub my tummy and pat my head, right? Yeah, it's probably going to be easier. Well, let's hear it for easier. That's good. When the clean up, then doing it. I pegged it. Clear down at the bottom. Engage. It's how the current is acting. Whew. Yeah. Pretty much ready to weld. You max that. That's okay. Got it. You can mash it, and then you can work back from there. Yep. Shade mounting. Start at your normal. Oh, that's quiet. See, see how. Ah. Oh, I felt myself drag that ceramic cup. How you're angling yourself. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to preheat. You're not preheating up to weld temperatures. Boom, it's there. Yeah. Show me filler. Show me. Oh, my. I would have, in my mind, I would have quit focusing on the weld. That's that metronome coming in. It's gorgeous. There you go. It's gonna act like a filler. It's right there. You can pretty much a filler in your hand but even if most mm -hmm. of the time I just mm -hmm. slide it through. Um, yeah, that purple is 500 degrees. Okay then. The wash action gets quite 60 11 maybe more properly. No, it's not. But better than 100 percent I see. I see. Ever even add filler. And it also keeps it warm. Yep. So that's so you remember what I was saying earlier about, you know, you can just start doing things and figure it out. Not this, not this. This is, um, there are more variables at play here than there were when I was figuring out how to run that sawmill. There are just such a number of things. I mean, I'm thinking of a, you know, somebody playing a trap set in a rock and roll band where each, each foot and each hand, and then singing, you know, or reading the chart and singing and playing it. It's just, there's a lot going on here. Right now my confidence is a little wobbly. I can, see some, I can see some progress, but I can tell you what, I am even more impressed with Mike Smith now than I was when he drove up. 
and I am really glad he's here kind of holding my hand. It's, it's my only hope. So I have dozens of hours of practice time before I can even begin to think about using this skill in a real world situation. I would be up a creek without Mike here. If you're interested in seeing some of the other really spectacular work he does, he, work, he does work from sawmill installations to high-end furniture out of steel, stainless, aluminum, all of it. Go to his Instagram, Smith Industries 007. You can get a good look at sort of the scope of what he does, some of the specialty stuff. The, the information will be in the notes to the video, as always. So I know now what I'm gonna be doing with any discretionary hours that come across my uh, radar for a while. I'm going to be practicing, practicing, practicing. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.